holiday season. I got my little Christmas hat here. And I'm here to say, since it's the holiday season, it's also the Star Wars season. Because, you know, every year since 2015, there's been a Star Wars film out. That's been good, but I haven't seen a new Star Wars film yet, so... Instead, I'm going to be making uh, another video. So, let's see what's in store today! So, I'm going to be talking about how to avoid spoilers for this, for Star Wars movies in general, or even any movies in general, that you may want to see anytime. So, mainly why I'm doing this video now is because Star Wars is, coming, is already out, and of course, you know, people like to be dicks and just spoil everything. Which is fine, you know, because we can't, we can't help our urge, you know, all of our, you know, liberal hyperactive, you know, urges just say everything instead of thinking it, you know, all that crap, you know. But, you know, there's ways of avoiding it. You know, uh, first of all, just, you know, let's just say you're on YouTube, right? And, uh, you read comments, often. Well, maybe you should stop doing that around the Christmas, or whenever your movie is around. Or until you see it, because, you know, maybe if it's popular enough, people will spoil it in the comments. And they can't, I, what I learned that, it doesn't even have to be in a, a specific video of that movie genre, like for Star Wars. If it's a Star Wars video, don't look at it, because people may spoil it in the comments, but if it's in a random video, don't look at it either, because there could be spoilers in there as well. For example, when The Force Awakens came out in 2015, I looked at a random video and looked at the comments, and there were spoilers for it. At the time, though, I was lucky, because at the time I didn't, I mixed up the characters' names, so I don't know who was who. I thought Ray was Kylo Ren, I thought Kylo Ren was Ray, so... When I heard that Kylo Ren is Han's daddy, I was like, uh, oh, well I knew that Han and Leia had... I knew Han Leia's daughter was Ray. I knew they had a child named Ray, I knew it! Or Kylo Ren, whatever, I... Whatever I said. I had the names mixed up and I... It wasn't really spoiled, so I, I kinda knew it. But, and I saw the movie, and it wasn't, so then that was a bigger spoiler. That was actually a bigger surprise to me! I saw I knew everything. And also, I saw the Han died in the comment section. And I was like, you know what, I'm... I, I don't believe it. This, this is what I'm going to my next point. If you see something like a comment saying some character died in the film, just don't believe it until you actually see it. You know, I, I, you don't, you don't know if it's true. It's not really a spoiler if you just don't know. Like Han died. I don't know he died until I actually saw it. I don't believe you till I see it. Cause I was on, um, I was on Mindplex yesterday and I saw, <laughs> I saw someone say in there that Luke and Snoke died. I, I'm like. I, how? I don't believe that, first of all. Because it's not- I don't believe it until I see it. Snoke is the main villain of the goddamn film, and I don't think- I mean, I could believe they could kill Luke, you know, until he gets turned into a force ghost, but, you know... I could believe that more than I believe Snoke dying. He's the main villain! I don't think he'll die. I don't believe that, and you can't just say that they die. You have to tell me how. You can't- that's not really a spoiler. Spoiling it is saying that- saying how they die. I don't- then that's a spoiler. And any spoilers aren't even that, like, like, if I haven't seen the movie yet, how am I supposed to know if it's a spoiler yet? A spoiler is when you're watching the movie and someone says, if someone already watched it and says what happens while you're watching it, it's a spoiler. It's like, let's say you're in a movie theater and you watch a movie for the first time and the person next to you already saw it. Basically, it gets whispers to you, hey, this is gonna happen, he's gonna die, or this place is gonna explode. Everything in this movie's a dream. Then you're like, well, you spoiled the movie for me, no point in watching it. You know, those type of, you know, that's a spoiler. Just saying something before you see it, you don't know. Unless it's true or not. How am I supposed to know? Like, but if someone's telling me, oh, this whole movie's a dream. But, but, but you're saying it in the comment section. What do you mean? I don't believe it until it's true. Then you just say something, because I'm just gonna think you're crazy. And that's what you should take away from this. Put in your mind, nothing's true until you see it. Also, if you're, make sure you just, whenever you read something, like comments or like video descriptions or whatever, just looking at, you know, people's, what they're typing, just, just make sure not to look at the whole sentence, just look at it word for word and you see like, oh, this is a Star Wars character or whatever movie character there is, stop reading it then, because most likely it's going to be a spoiler. And you know, like, if you have Windows 10, yeah, like, you know, you have like those articles that you open up with an Explorer, don't click on them. You know, obviously, because if it says like, oh, 21 questions after your last, after watching last guy, don't click on it, because, spoilers. 
just um, not reading it at all. People have the spoiler in the in the title, a clickbait title that's actually a spoiler. I that's gonna be bad. Cause you're like, oh, oh my, it's an article, so it must be true. Again, don't actually believe it until you see it. You know, I again another another um another example I have. Don't believe what you say, but don't believe it until you see it. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 came out. Kevin already saw it, right? My friend Kevin. He told me that a planet blows up. I'm like, and I saw the movie, and the, no planet really blew up. Because the way he worded it, it sounded like the whole movie was based around that planet blowing up, which is not true. The movie is based off something completely different than what he was saying. So that wasn't really a spoiler. I mean, he tri I tried to spoil it. He tried to, but it did not work. And when you use spoiler, even though I say, like, it's not really technically a spoiler, just saying something that's not related to a movie, it's just, it's crazy, it's just stupid. If you, I mean, just our words, I would leave social media, because that's what people did, like, two years ago when The Force Awakens came out. People get left social media, they left Twitter, they left, they left Facebook, they left all the social media sites just so they don't get spoiled. And there's gonna be more people this year, I think people are already doing it now. That's what I'm probably gonna do, just not, just avoid comments, and because I'm a YouTuber now, I, people can comment in this video saying, uh, a spoiler for the Star Wars movie, I, I'm, I'll be like, well, I'm not gonna read it then. But if I see a little notification, I'm probably not gonna click on it. Or if I, or if I am, I'm just gonna read, like, a little bit of it. Not read the whole thing, because it could be a spoiler, I could, it could ruin the potential movie. I don't want that, because if it's a spoiler movie, if it's a spoiler, like, if you saw a movie and you say something from the movie, that happens. I'm probably gonna believe you, most likely, as it's just gonna be a spoiler then. So just, if you want to avoid spoiler, just move, just move yourself from social media. Read carefully, like, get a habit, learn a trait to just uh, read half sense or just stop. Don't look at the whole sense, just read the first part, ignore the bottom half of it. Read a little bit until you see something like character movie in it, then just stop reading it. Scroll up. Whatever you have to do, just please, Save yourself from being spoiled. Just do not. I just want you to be safe from being spoiled. Because Last Jedi is a really important movie. It seems important because people say that's different and it's amazing. And uh, people say it's the best since Empire Strikes Back, which was uh, 30, 40, 38 years ago. 37, uh, 38, 30, I think 38, no, 37 years. It's been 37 years. People have called this the best movie since Empire Strikes Back, which, been, which was released 37 years ago. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Just be careful when you're on the internet around this time of year. Because even even when, like, let's say, Harry Potter movie or, or uh, what else? I don't know, any kind of TV show or movie that you just don't want to get spoiled, just remove yourself from social media for a little bit until the thing comes on and you watch until you watch it. Then you can join back in, watch the videos of them spoiling the movie. You know, if you if you basically people spoil it when you're on the, when you're like in other places like i already saw it so it doesn't matter so uh yeah hope i hope you guys already seen the last jedi already because i i haven't probably gonna see it during winter break probably my cousins already saw it already because they like the seasons on the first day so and it, i'm seeing them later tonight so you know that's that's that's, that's gonna be fantastic a nice conversation there oh my god it's gonna be like the same conversation two years ago they already saw it the first day and they, they were like ready to spoil it, but I was like, don't say anything yet. <laughs> Probably gonna say anything tonight. Woo! Okay, you know, I'm done with this video. I'm tired. My voice is done. I'm just gonna, for the last 20 seconds, I'm just gonna, just to put end screen in annotation, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, my nice little dog is gonna sing for you. I know. Cringy, I know. But I, I don't wanna put an end screen in. I don't wanna put, you know, outro this is this is, this is gonna be the outro all right <laughs> so here's the outro fantastic